Marcus Stroman was back in a location he knows very well. That's the Rogers Center. Only struck out one, but he also limited the hard contact. Just one run on three hits over five innings of work. Let's hear from the Stro Show. Oh, it was awesome. Um, since I landed here, there's been nothing but love from the fan base. It's been incredible. So I just want to say thank you to Canada, Toronto. Um, yeah, from the time I landed at Customs, you know, I mean, they were welcome, welcoming me in, and it's just been overwhelming with the show of support and love from from back in the day. So I'm just truly thankful to have spent my time here in Toronto for all that for all those years, and um, it's truly an incredible experience playing for the Blue Jays. Uh, you have a whole country room for you, and like I said, I, I, I'll always feel Canadian um, at the bottom of it. The actual start after you got through that first inning, mm -hmm. really on a roll, what do you set? My sinker was good today. Um, when my mechanics are on and my sinker's gone, I feel like I can always roll against any lineups. And um, I felt like I was throwing it pretty good into righties, mixing in my slider, mixing in four seam. I feel like me and Willie been on a roll. So uh, unbelievable plays behind me as well. Madrigal was was pretty incredible in a lot of those plays. Uh, Morel, Nico's been amazing all year. So uh, just a full temp team effort when I was out there. When you have an opportunity like this to come back to a place and pitch that, you know, in a place that's meant so much to you, just what is that reminder of the connection that you have to fans and, you know, from that kid from England, like yeah. your, your, your reach is pretty wide. Just mm -hmm. what, what do two or three days of this mean to you in the, in the big picture? Kind of puts life in perspective, keeps things in perspective, how much of an impact. This game can be really hard at times and focus so much being success related that we truly forget the journey. So I think it just really just showed me to really just respect and enjoy the journey and everything that comes with it. Because you don't know how long you're going to be here and the fact that I can have a positive impact on a kid, uh, an adult, anybody's life is truly remarkable. So I I'm just thankful and grateful, honestly, for my time spent here. There's there's nothing more positive I can say about this country, about the city of Toronto. Um, I enjoyed every single second that I was here. Marcus, it looked like you had a laugh with Danny Jansen after he flew out there in the early innings. So you can talk about what you say to him there. No, I was just telling him sorry, honestly. Oh, was it Danny or Teoscar? We were having a little laugh. Um, Danny, I was telling him I'm sorry when I was hitting him. But yeah, those are all my guys. Like I was with those guys for so long, whether they're in the minors or working out, training together. It's just, it's truly a family. Um, I'm very close and keep in contact with a lot of those guys. So. Like I said, nothing but nothing but love and low-key hoping they, they get in the playoffs and do some damage. Does it feel any different being up there as a role player versus a few years ago? No, I've always felt very comfortable in the mound here at Rogers Center. Like, I've always felt very confident. Um, I felt like my stuff's always played pretty well here, so I uh, just felt felt pretty normal out there. Is it tough at all to remember to turn left every time you came off the mound? Uh, I thought it was going to be tough, but... Once you're out there, man, in the zone, it's not. It's not. So it's obviously at the heart of it is competition. And um, very thankful to play against those guys. Like I said, Vladdy, Tay Oscar, I love those guys. Bichette, the entire lineup, Guriel, like those are guys that I came up with. So nothing nothing but love for all of them. You mentioned uh, the role that you've been on with Wilson when you fought the way that he's mm -hmm. pushed through all the ankle and stuff the last mm -hmm. few weeks. Yeah, I mean, Wilson's a warrior. The guy's a. I've never met a stronger human being. The guy's so strong. Like he's just like a solid, like rock of a human being. So, like you said, probably normal injuries, like a normal guys who kind of hit the IL for. He goes out there and plays with. Um, he's kind of our backstop. He's a true grinder, and we're thankful for him.